your local weather with the KX News Storm Team. Welcome back to KX News at 6. Let's go ahead and look at our storm team radar here this evening. Seeing mostly cloudy skies across the southern tier of the state, really towards the south of that I-94 corridor, south of Bismarck, south of Dickinson as well. We are seeing those clear skies up towards the north here, and that discrepancy in that cloud cover is really reflected in our winds and temperatures right now. First, our NDOT roadmap seeing much improving conditions compared to this time last year. Still seeing some ice and snow covered roads up towards the north, out towards the west of Devil's Lake, out towards Williston as well, but much, much better out towards Dickinson. Looking good here in Bismarck and back towards Jamestown as well. Temperatures right now are in the single digits and teens up across the northern tier of the state. It's just seven degrees right now in Newburgh and Crosby and Stanley getting into those mid teens in that central tier of the state and a bit warmer down towards the south where we are seeing those clouds. 25 right now in Bismarck, still 27 out in Linton and 29 down in Mobridge this evening. Your winds right now are primarily out of the east across the southern tier of the state, anywhere from five to 10 miles per hour. And we're out of the west up towards the north where those clear skies are persisting again anywhere from five to ten miles per hour winds probably shouldn't be too much of a factor the next couple of days but they should increase for us just a little bit heading into our wednesday maybe 20 to 30 mile per hour gusts at times during the afternoon hours your wind chill report brought to you by absolute comfort plumbing and heating we are starting to see some below zero wind chills already here this evening feels like five below in rugby right now three below up in mohaw but we're seeing those positives the further south you go it still feels like we're in the we're at 25 here in Bismarck and those teens and 20s really across the southern tier of the state. We are getting that cloud cover persisting here right now. Temperatures tomorrow a little bit warmer than we saw today, but still a little bit below our averages for the first week of March. Seeing those teens and 20s for those highs up across the northern tier of the state and we're in those 30s down towards the south. Wouldn't be terribly surprised if areas like Hettinger and Bowman get to that 40 degree mark. We'll just see how warm we get and what exact direction the winds are out of tomorrow. Looking ahead to our precision cast right now. We are expecting some more snow showers to push through the area beginning tomorrow afternoon, really persisting through our Wednesday as well. By the time we get to 4 p.m. tomorrow, probably going to be seeing some snow showers up towards Williston and Minot. And as we roll through tomorrow night and very early on Wednesday morning, we're probably going to be getting the secondary round of moisture across the southern tier of the state out towards the west as well. Probably going to be seeing some accumulations with this system as well, although probably not as heavy as we saw over the weekend. As we push into 6 a.m. or so on Wednesday morning, most of that snow be pushing off towards the east of Bismarck, out towards Jamestown with that persistent snow showers, really towards the north, out towards Williston and Minot. Those should linger through our Wednesday morning before gradually tapering off around mid-afternoon or so on Wednesday. Should be nice and dry for us, though, by the time we get to Thursday. Plenty of sunshine is expected really through the upcoming weekend once we get into our Thursday. If you look at our snow potential map here for this system, Tuesday ends to, into Wednesday. The highest amounts are, again, up towards the north, North of Minot up towards Williston as well. Maybe two to four inches with this system before all is said and done here. Maybe one to three out towards Jamestown. A trace is possible in the capital city here of Bismarck. Looking at our, our five day forecast here for Williston, a high of just 22 tomorrow, but that is the coolest day of the next five days. Getting into those 30s by Friday and Saturday, maybe even hitting 40 on Saturday. Our Dickinson five day forecast, mid 30s the next few days, a fairly consistent pattern out towards the west and again getting much warmer by the time we get into our weekend here. My not seven day forecast. We have an expected high of 20 degrees tomorrow. Still seeing those single digits for those lows. However, as those highs are in the mid 20s through Friday and again, you see that warm up in time for the weekend getting into the low to mid 40s for that Sunday and Monday just in time for you to change those clocks forward and looking at Bismarck seven day forecast. We're in those 30s the next few days near seasonal overall through Friday and you see that warm up with a Plenty of sunshine this weekend. Should be a good weekend to get out and enjoy the nice sunny skies. Taylor. Well, I, I love that you always bring us some sunshine. Kenny. For the weekend, though, it's nice to see the, a sunny weekend for a change. Yeah, but, instead you know, of uh, cold and snow. Snow and freezing rain. Yeah, all I know. That mess. We want a good yeah. weekend. That's Yeah, for get sure. out and have some fun. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Let's okay. Do it. Come <laughs> Thank you so much, Kenny. Coming up next, uh, rare but totally treatable disease.